The first game of the Subway Series begins, and here's the Mets starting lineup brought to you by TikTok. It starts on TikTok. So the Mets are 13 and 16. They'll lead off their second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Third baseman, J.D. Davis, will bat second. Hitting third, the right fielder, Michael Conforto. This will be his 41st career game started in the big leagues and on the season, his fifth. And only three walks and 14 strikeouts in 19 and third innings. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. McNeil down on strikes. Swing and a miss. So Davis goes down on strikes. Two away. Let's look at the game time weather. To be tall as a lefty. One, two. Swing and a miss. Powerful first inning for Jordan Montgomery as he retires the Mets in order with three strikeouts. And starting at the top of the lineup is the DH Luke Voigt. Clint Frazier's in right, Brett Gardner in left. Cleaning up the catcher, Gary Sanchez, Mike Ford at first base. The strikeouts are up, 18 and only five walks. The ERA's up a little bit, but he's really thrown the ball very well. He's Boyd has hit 375. Everyone else on the team is at 156. And that one just over the glove of Alonzo. And it's a base hit for Voigt. Three, two. Lined in the left center field. That is going to be a base hit. Marisnik cuts over. He can't get there. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Chuggling around third is Luke Voigt. He's coming home. Here's the throw. Here's the play. No, the ball is cut off. And Voigt scores on an RBI double by Clint Frazier. And the Yankees have a one nothing lead. For Frazier, give the Yankees a run. Here's Brett Gardner. And a push bunt. Third base line. Fair ball. It's going to be trouble. It's a fair ball. It's a base hit. So Frazier moves to third. And a push bunt single by Brett Gardner. Runner goes again, the pitch gets away from Ramos. Here comes Frazier, he will score, it is two nothing. The Yankees and a walk to Gary Sanchez. Strike three, so Waka gets his first out, four down looking, one away. Fly ball, center field, Marisnik is there. Puts it away for the second out. Tagging is Gardner. He'll go to third. So two down, and here is the first major league at bat for Estevan Florio. He was at Double A Trenton in 2017, and he swings and misses and welcomes himself to the big leagues with a strikeout. But the Yankees get two runs coming off his magical rookie year, where he had 53 home runs last season. Swing and a miss. That is the fourth strikeout for Montgomery. Here's Robinson Cano. And he punches one the other way for a base hit. He has had some season. So Cano came in hitting 382 and then picks up a single, the first hit against Montgomery. Swing and a miss. Ramos down on strikes. Strikeout number five for Montgomery. Had a meeting at 215 Montague Street in Brooklyn. As Estrada swings and misses. And you know, the things that he had to endure were uh, unconscionable. Grounded sharply and past Davis as Voigt picks up his second hit. That's going to go all the way to the wall, allowing Voigt to pick up a double. He's two for two, and he is red hot. Driven out to right field and deep. Conforto back on the track at the wall. See ya! A two-run home run for Frazier. And it is 4-0 Yankees. This is what the Yankees need after coming back from a tough loss in Atlanta and a five-game losing streak. Frazier again, a ball out over the plate. And boy, I tell you what, if you don't think these guys hit differently at home, you're wrong because he just hammers this ball. Swing and a miss, chase the pitch out of the zone, Gardner down on strikes but the Yankees get two runs on two hits two run home run by Clint Frazier it's four nothing bombers grounded to third backhanded by Ann Duhar sets the long throw and that is not in time as Ford came off the back to meet it and that's an infield single for Marisley they were always going to throw something off speed trying to keep that runner close and going at the hitter with off speed see if they could turn two there's one on the first it's a double play, doubling up the speedy Rosario. And you talked about his speed, and they might take a look at this, but he did go to off speed. 
swing and a miss. Sanchez down on strikes. That one is ripped to right field. That's going to be a base hit and go up against the wall. Fielded quickly by Conforto, and Ford's going to go for two. Here's the throw, and Ford's in there with a double. Conforto did not handle it cleanly because Ford looked like he was going to stop at first and then turned it on. He gets up slowly. Seems like every single at bat, he's getting closer to what the Yankees are used to seeing. Swing and a miss. Floreal down on strike. Seventh strikeout for Waka. No runs to hit. No one man left. We've played three. It's four nothing Yanks. The way they handled not playing that game. There's a fly ball to Frazier. But. <laughs> Good point, Cole. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Alonzo down on strike. Another good inning for Jordan Montgomery. Is it Y? Is it IE? Well, they rushed it. They hung it. As Waka gives them three innings and struck out seven, gave up six hits and four runs. He's rest, and that's what happened. We're giving him plenty of rest. He's keeping his lines on point. Awesome. <laughs> Here's Voigt. And boy, does he like hitting leadoff. He is three for three. A couple of singles and a double. Uh, he's used. Every part of the field, up the middle, right field, a bullet to left field. Trying to keep him from getting his hands extended. Ended up ball four, not being able to throw a strike in there. And that got him, so he's hit by a pitch to load the bases for Sanchez. The 0-2, swing and a miss, one off speed, and Sanchez strikes out to end the inning. No runs to hit, the bases are left loaded. We go to the fifth. Four, nothing, Yankees. And now it's going to be seven for 22 as Wade throws to Ford. Two away. That many hard hit balls. Smith got a chance with the Mets because Johannes Cespedes decided to opt out. And he gets plunked on the 1 1 pitch and he'll take first base. Riverside, California. Rounded to third, backing up Van Duar. He drops the ball, fires to first, and he fires it past Ford. That allows Smith to go to third. I would think to go to third, that should be another error, but right now it's just 1E5. That one gets away from Sanchez, and Smith will score, and the Mets are on the board as Marizic moves to second. It's 4-1 Yankees. And that one is grabbed by Ford. He's going to flip to Montgomery, and they got him. Just got him. Wow. As Ford made the play and then tossed to Montgomery covering. And the Mets are going to take a look. Let's see. We'll take a look as well. I think he's safe. Let's see if the Mets are going to challenge that. I assume that they will. As you see, Rosario's foot came down before Montgomery's. At least getting to that ball down the line. We'll keep Mariznick at third base here, and Rosario will be safe. Rosario will go. Ford backs up the pitch. Fly ball. Shallow right. Estrada out. Makes the call on the catch, and that will do it. One run, one hit, one error, and two men left. It's time now for the fifth inning stretch. Swing and a miss. You start throwing double headers, you start throwing days off. It just, it, it gets you off your schedule. And there's the first major league hit for Floreal as he dumps a single in the center field. And he has a baseball for his trophy case. Grounded to third, Davis. And they just get Estrada for the final out. No runs are hit, no errors, and one man left. Floreal is in the baseball reference encyclopedia. Major League season. That's line to left field. It's a base hit for J.D. Davis. Cutting over his Gardner. He'll get the ball in, so Davis with a leadoff single. Now one is looped into left field. That's a base hit in front of Gardner. Moving to second is Davis, so first and second, nobody out. That'll bring up Pete Alonzo. That we don't know. So a lot of people question, why would you take out Tanaka in game two of that 3-2 pitch? 
Drill deep to center field. Florial back, still back, turning, looking. See ya. A game tying three run home run for Pete Alonso, and it's a 4 4 game. You know, we talked about his power, and you see Montgomery looking at a, a job well done and down the drain as far as he's concerned. But, you know, Cody, if you look at this count, he wasted two sliders that were down and away after he had thrown Alonzo some fastballs by him, which allowed him to see enough pitches. Swing and a miss, Ramos. Down on strikes, two away. That one is deep to right center field, and it's gonna be one hop up against the wall. Nope. Is that gone? That's gone, a home run for Smith. As that got into the Yankee bullpen, and the Mets have taken a 5-4 to four lead. All of a sudden, the Mets are bringing out the sticks. I mean, they have not been good all year at driving runners in, in scoring position, but home run-wise, you can see they have some pop. Smith, you talked earlier, Michael, having a good year. He continues with another home run right here. Veraldis Chapman. That one is drilled deep to left field. That ball is gone. A home run for Marisnik as the Mets go back to back, and it is 6 4 Mets. Boy, this has been a week of horrors for Chad Green after getting off to an unbelievable start. It's four home runs in his last two short appearances, and this is not what the Yankee fans and Aaron Boone are used to seeing. Chad Green. And certainly was fresh. As he gets Rosario on strikes. But the Yankees get hurt by the long ball. Montgomery gets knocked out of the game. Uh, he'll pitch in his 12th game for the Mets. Nine hits in nine innings. He's walked five and struck out seven. Been a little bit more effective. And earlier today, a little bit of a reunion between... Boone and Batances. There's a ground ball to third. Davis double clutches, fires in the dirt, but a backhanded scoop by Alonzo to get Voigt. And that got Clint Frazier as the Yankees from 2014 through 2017. And Gardner walks, so just like that, the Yankees have runners on first and second with two outs for Gary Sanchez. Yeah, his size. Popped up. Nimmo is called off by Marisnik, who makes the play in left center for the final out. No runs, no hits, no errors, and the Yankees strand two. We go to the final inning. Well, Jonathan Holder will take over to pitch the seventh inning, and he'll face the top of the Met order, starting with Jeff McNeil. Right back to Holder. Ground it, and under the glove of Ford, into right field, so a base hit for Conforto, his second hit of the game. Runner goes. That one is ripped and almost knocked down Estrada, and he fires the first to get him. Wow, what a play by Estrada. Hit so sharply that it knocked him off his feet. No runs, a hit, no errors. Diaz had to leave the game against the Marlins. He felt the cramp in his leg. He left with a 2-1 count. Swing and a miss. 98 miles an hour. Ford Diaz. 2-2 count. One out here in the bottom of the seven. Swing and a miss. And the Yankees are down to their final out. Swing and a miss. And the Yankees go down by a score of 6-4. Diaz strikes out the side to pick up the save. And the Yankees now have a six-game losing streak. The first time they've done that since June 14th through the 20th in 2017.